one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a really nice 1972 Lincoln Continental. Nice little coupe, big old 460 motor. Look at the lights and everything. Woo, buddy. It's a nice car. This is going to be the exterior review. I'm going to go around and show you all that. I actually did the interior yesterday and went for a drive around the block, all that good stuff. It's a nice car. You can tell wheel wheels, everything, just clean as can be. It's got the skirts and all. It's just a nice, nice car. Uh, you can tell the top's gone. It's going to be a quick walk around, and then I'll go ahead and go up close and show you any ifs, ands, or buts about the car, which there ain't all that much to talk about. It's just, it's clean. And anything that's wrong with it is really straight and upfront about it. Um, there's not a whole lot of anything talked about bad about this car, but I'm going to show you anything that's just dented, damaged, or anything like that. So, Nathan, 406-546-8748. Subscribe, daily videos, one owner car guy on YouTube. And there is all kinds of, where's my, come on, picture on my camera. There we go, bam. Let's show you underneath real quick. Oh, oh it's in great shape. You can see underneath here. Just clean as can be. Broke something in my pocket. My phone case. Great. Okay, so underneath there, yeah, that's that. Um, clear coat all over, everything faded, peeling, and such. Um, you can just, uh, see right there, it's just kind of got a big spot there where there's bare metal. Um, it is what it is. It's straight, it's clean. Um, there's a little damage over on that side. I'll show you here. Um, just, it's straight. It's all the wheel wheel molding and everything. It's in good shape. Shape. Look at wheel wheels. It's a clean car. And it needs some, you know, there's little marks here. It's the kind of thing you're going to paint for sure because all the top surfaces have that issue. Now I can get the tops done cheap if you're interested. Let me know. It's got all the trim for the top, which is very cool. You always get this kind of damage on a vinyl top car, and it's not that bad. It's not pouring inside yet or nothing, but it is corrosionary type things on that. Um, all the window trim, there and everything, stainless or pop metal, whatever it is on this year. All this stuff, just nice and shiny as can be. A little bit of, oh look, if I, I can flake it right off. A little bit of um, tape or something on that, unfortunately. Maybe there's a ding, a little ding right there. But all the trim is just great. Even the trim going on the sides and everything, just beautiful. It's pretty much, I want to say all here, but I hate to say that and have something missing. Uh, bumper, dong, oh, just looks nice. Now this side, this has some filler in it. And you can see, right in this area, it has some filler up into here. Uh, and this piece is loose, and there's a couple of little bends right there where it got knocked around. So you have to straighten that out a little bit. I don't know. This got smacked just over just a little bit. That's it. <laughs> uh, this one's pretty lined up and on. And so that take a little bit of something there. That is the worst of anything on the car, I'd say. Um, you have a couple spots right here. Starting in. I think I showed under the hood of this last night. I don't know if I did or not. I might have to double check. If not, I'll have to do it right now. Yes, sir. Clean, clean, clean. But obviously project. Um, you can see it's got some stuff here. Got a couple holes. Roof right there. Huh. Yeah, I don't know why that's still on there. Hubcaps, all that. Good shape, all four of them. A little gougy mark right here. Pretty clean car. Straight, chrome, everywhere. Trim, stainless, whatever you want to call it. Lenses, good condition, good car. Clean car. Dent. Right there. All the paint is war. Little patina starting on that. Let this thing set in 15 years, it could look pretty good. Be all patinaed out. And you can see where the clear coat is just coming off there. And this will never be able to be exactly the same. It's always going to be open because the clear coat is burnt off the top part. It's gone, it's flaked off. 
um, is because the sun hits this more than this, etc. It's in good shape. A little bit of corrosion there. Every once in a while you get underneath the trim. There's a couple spots like that. I wanted to show you a couple spots down here. Hang on a sec. Let me find this. There's a couple spots right there, starting. Trim's all clean. It's nice. It's clean. Don't know if that screw is factory. A little gouge right here. And some corrosionary stuff starting right there. Get that off there and get that fixed before it gets too bad. Shouldn't be all that bad. So, that's walking around it. That's showing you anything on it. I don't remember, I want to make sure I didn't see any bubblies type of things on this side. I don't think I did. It's nice to get something like this with the, all the trim and everything. It's just tight. It's tight. It's on here. Um, it hasn't been all smacked around, forgotten, taken off, and left to sit for a couple years where some body guy left to sit in a garage. Nothing like that. This is just ready to be restored. And good, nice running, 460. Great car. Uh, these are going to be valuable. They're going to keep going up in value. Helicopter going over now. Hope you can hear me. So, we got that stuff. Um, it's got Mitchell Energies. Looks to be a pretty nice set. They have been pretty good. Got to see the driver on the tread there. And right there. So I'm going to tell you that they're not... They've got plenty of little titties on the side. they got... They're nice. I think a guy put a new set on it. And then one's the last place. Eleven. Seven years. These are not Mitchell. And that one is not. All the other ones are. I probably replaced that one maybe. Don't know. But the Mitchell and Energies, they're here, but they got a little dry rot right in the edges there. So I want to just be up front about, yeah, right there too. So I mean, you know, honestly, I don't know. I think I've drove worse tires in my life, but I don't like these. That's all there is to say. Need to be replaced. The car is a project restoration type of thing. Um, but I'll tell you what, it's a nice clean one. And it's one where nothing's hidden. You can see what it is you're dealing with here. Um, so that's the deal. That's the once around, the twice around and all that. I'll pop the hood here real quick for you. Okay, hood opens all the way and I'll show you that. But as you can see, wherever the sun hits, you get that. I want you to be able to see what this actually looks like. So I've got it in the shadows there. It's one or the other. It's got to be sunny or shadowy. Or else you get kind of a dual look. And it's the best I can do at this time. I wanted to show you under here. It's just clean as can be. Everything about under the hood and everything on this car. It's got all the stickers, most of, I'm gonna say most of, because I don't know what they came with. Even the one on that, you get a better angle on it. It's got some kind of a number on front of the block here. It's got that emission control stuff there. That just looks in great shape up here. Ouch, smack my nose on this coffee can evaporator thing here. But whatever, that's, that's life, that's life. And um, you got a classy duct tape cap for that. The um, canister itself is in good shape. Just a little cap's gone. So you got duct tape. I think that's the windshield washer or the overflow. Overflow. I'm almost positive. Um, and this, see, there you go. Opens perfectly underneath the hood. It's so clean and nice. It's just in great shape. So that's pretty much the deal. Even got the hood insulation and stuff. In fact, I got a little shadow shadowier out, so I can show you this in a different way. It's just a great shape little project that I'm sure you could have some fun with. Um, so, if you're looking for a Continental, stop it. Just call me. This is the one for you. Nathan, 406-546-8748. And make sure and check it. Look at this. Emission stickers and stuff right on there. Just pretty cool. Also, I wanted to mention, I don't think that's factory, but it's on there. So that's just something else. Up top, clean as can be, around the edges. Um, solid, I showed you any damage I know of on that. Um, this here, you always get damage in that area. Um, you've got some more of it under there. And it needs to be taken off, cleaned up, and fixed. Little couple places right here. And that's about what I know of on this thing. Uh, weather stripping is a little dry around the windows right there. 
Um, and that's that. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, 72 Lincoln Continental. Make sure to check out the full video if this is not it. If it is it, here comes the interior. Check out my website and call me for any cars. I've got all kinds of old cars around here and all kinds more over there. I got a caddy hearse and I got a hundred old classics, all kinds of stuff around. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the interior review of this beautiful 1972 Lincoln Continental. Two door coupe, nice car. I'm gonna go around it. I've already showed you the exterior video in the other one. Um, if you haven't seen it, you know, look on my channel, tune in. This might be the full video where I combine them. But this is gonna be the inside, looking at all the interior options. Let me give you a quick walk around this time of night. It's just beautifully straight. Nice car. The paint is still shiny, but it's in need of a, a repaint and such. As you can see, the vinyl top's gone. Stuff like that that's obvious, um, somewhere on the paint and such. But overall, the car's in really good condition. Um, looks nice in the sun. And it's definitely a straight car. Um, I'm going to show you under the hood, inside, and all that. And we'll kind of go through the options and different things and show you what we can about it. Okay, so let's look at the inside. I took some pictures of everything. You can see at night, the top is in great shape. It's just got a little bit of on the top. It's not rusted through or nothing anywhere. It's clean. Um, inside, look at this. Door panels are clean. I'm going to split in this. And your switches are a little bit, yeah, they're yeah. Um, seats, nice condition, and even these things here work. Back looks beautiful, hardly been set in. Front's in good shape. You got a little bit of tears here. The floors, great shape. Hardly anywhere on the pedals. Hardly anywhere on the kick panel down there. Um, got an aftermarket. CD player in it. W.E. Lucas Jr. Guess this was his car. Wow. That is one big, that don't work by the way. That is one big glove compartment. Um, that does not latch. I'm gonna get this key out of here because it's kind of annoying me. And yeah, we'll, um, let's see some. The antenna button is not taking it down. This is for the mirror. The mirror's right here. That, one of the little tap light things on the floor. Okay, let me show you underneath the hood real quick. You have to excuse me, I have to put this around my neck and let it hang. Bam! Yeah, clean, buddy. Clean. 460, runs good. Don't cough and choke and puke smoke all over the place. Um, it's got an exhaust leak and I'm that man. The little wires and everything in this car, just clean as can be. Very, very clean car. Um, well, I say very clean car. Somebody tell me, that car's not clean. I don't even put the prices in my videos. You can't tell me what clean is if you don't know the price of it. And the price of this is I'll make you a deal. Look how clean the hood and the uh, hood insulation are. Just a clean car. So, yeah. Let's close this up. Show you inside. I pretty much have showed you inside. Just pretty car. Got my universal trunk key. And with that, it works perfectly. Trunk's clean. Look at this. You can get the jack uses and instructions and everything in there. A couple stains and such in the trunk carpets. Uh, still got the original padding underneath. Um, it's just super, super clean and in good shape. Let me go ahead and take a picture of this. And that did that. Boom. Okay. So that tells you pretty much all I can tell you about the outside, the inside, and everything. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more on the inside amenities and stuff. Give it a start. As you can see, the little cracks in the handle and everything. It's not perfect. Um, slice in the carpet there or something. But it's in great shape. 
I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me over the... Oh, 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 oh. This piece of trim is loose. I want to make sure you knew that. And with that, let's do it to it. Now it's old and it's been sitting. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it'd start. I'd be like, oh, I was gonna crank on it for a while. No. Nice. Now the. You got a problem with fuses or something because the wipers ain't working. However, the lights come on just fine. All right, the car ain't been on the road in years. In years and years. Hydraulic lights work. This one's a little tilted and it needs a little help being straight. So it needs some adjustment in it. But other than that, the lights work and everything. This piece is missing on the other side. And you'll see what I mean right here. You can see. Oh, daylight shining through it. Right there. See how quick this bad boy starts up. <laughs> like I say, it hasn't been on the road in years. But it's that kind of day. I don't know if I can navigate out this with this big bad boy's wheels. Look at how nice this thing drives. Such a so there's your look at that. I mean, this is like it's a driver, and somebody can do some light fixing up. I have a really nice car, it's gonna need a little bit of a tune up. I can tell you that right now because it ain't been on the road in years, but. There you go. That's where I'm going because it ain't been on the road in years and it wants to get down and go. It stops fine. It stops great. Everything about the car is just clean. Um, I mean, you can see the obvious damage. I have people that like to argue with me about my definition of clean and stuff like that. Well, I mean, clean to me is a car like this today, rusted through everywhere, runs and drives good. And it's just a nice little car that somebody could fix up a little bit. <laughs> and you know, it might not even need adjustment. It just might have been not um, started in years. Let's do this again. <laughs> Right now, and sometimes um, it takes a little priming it. I think the might be a little air in the lines or something along that degree, but it's a runner, man. Nice car, clean car. If you're interested, call me, Nathan. You can call me other things too. 406 546 8748. You can reach me absolutely anytime. It's a great car, it's a clean car, and somebody is going to get them quite a nice little project car at a great deal. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. We'll talk to you.